Just because not everyone's the most vocal doesn't mean they don't share that opinion, you know. That's why they call it the silent majority. Huh? I like that email too from Tim endorsing Julie. Yeah. Yeah. I got an email back saying, why why are you endorsing someone else? What's up, Mike? How are you doing? How are you doing? Mike? John? I'm back here so that Darren doesn't crawl over me. Okay. What'd you guys order? Water. Okay. Date night tonight. Yeah. We're gonna wife and I are going on a date. We haven't done that in 10 years. So. So it's not just COVID's fault? Oh, no, it's not just COVID's <laughs> fault. No. What are you going to do? I think we're just going to go to the hunt club. Yeah. Uh, That's nice. Are you calling in to the 7th District meeting? Yeah, we got to do that during date night. But when, you, when you're committed, you're committed. Right. You know that. Right. So, yeah. So what's new? What's new with uh, Whitmer? You're welcome. Oh, sorry, no, I did not. You got a pen I can borrow? Yeah. I got one. I got one. Okay. Can I get you to drink? Can I get a water as well? Water as well? Do you uh -huh. know what he wants to drink? I don't. Okay. We got a quorum here. Damn near. Everything tasting good? What can I get you tonight? Uh, I'll have a diet, please. Diet? You guys ordering food? Uh, I will if you guys do. If you don't want to, we don't have to. Get, what do you guys? What do you guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you get? Nothing else. I'll get Harry out just to support. But. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. I'll order food. It's up to you, Mike. I should, I should. Text my wife, see if she might be bringing her fucking Let me grill ham and cheese. I already know what I'm like. Thank you. Did you come here while he was uh, opened up, Mike? I did. Number of times. What do you think about that DHS? And when he, uh, when he finally gets all of his fines and stuff aggregated, I'm gonna probably try to get sure that. Make sure he covers that or get him relieved or a combination thereof. He, when he came to the guest speak, he said he got a ten thousand dollar check from an outside source. That's amazing. You know, patriots out in the country. So what's up, dog? You got you had a, it's your meeting. Hey, well, no, I thought I'd give you guys a chance to actually confront somebody and lay it on rather than do it through, it through a mail and uh, other stuff. So let's just have it on. Let's okay. It on. Well, it's your, it's your, it's your, your show. You, no, you no, go I'm here to listen and you can make the accusations and we'll have a conversation about it. I'll find out whether or not you actually know what you're talking about or not. Okay. 
Um, well, I guess if you you want to go over the the censure paperwork. I'll see where we start, John. Okay. Um, well, what did you uh, you want you you want to go down the the list? Is that what it is? I'm ready to respond. Hey, why don't we just go down and take it orderly so we can stay on topic? Well, you, well, yeah, because. And I want to know. I have for two weeks now. I've asked for an opportunity to talk to the entire committee, and I've not gotten an answer from you on that either. Uh, I didn't have your email, so I sent it to you and asked you to send it to Darren. Well, we, we share the same email. Well, then maybe then you should really see it then. Yeah, that's that's why, as far as sitting with, like, the whole, you, like... I want to set a stool up in front of the group there and have them ask me questions. Yeah, like like a business, like our business meetings. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, did, we, we, we were going to do that this t for tomorrow. Well, then I got a, I got a an email on agenda and you've already got somebody else stated to talk and so oh yeah yeah we did we we would we don't that's okay we can still right. do that right. so yeah so we I'll be there tomorrow night? yeah yeah yeah, perfect. yeah perfect. exactly so i mean um did you want to go like okay so, uh the, the support of banning firearms at the michigan state capitol with no violent attack with firearms has ever taken place yeah. so what do you know about it what do i know about what the support that, that, that no, you support it? That particular claim. The claim that you support the banning of firearms at Michigan State Capitol? Yeah. What can I get for you today? I'll just take like uh, the cheeseburger meal. Are you? Are I'll you? take it. I'll get it to go. You want I'm, this to go? Yeah, please. Okay. So, how would you like to do it? Uh, medium. Medium? What kind of cheese? Uh, pepper jack. Pepper jack? And then what would you like on it? Uh, just uh, cheese, lettuce, mayo, bacon. No ketchup, mustard, pickle. Yeah, ketchup, please. No, no okay. mustard, pickle. Okay. And then, do you want the chips that come with it or French fries? Oh, uh, fries, please. Fries. Okay. I'm good. Does anybody else want anything? Grilled ham and cheese. You want a grilled ham and cheese? Please. And can I get mayo on the side? Yes. White bread. Um, you got sourdough, don't you? Yes, we do. I'll get sourdough. American cheese? Please. And do you want the mayo on the side? Please. And do you want the chips that come with it or fries? Um, I'll do the fries. And you want that for here? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, I just heard from you. This is a takeout, too, for my wife. So okay. What do you recommend for the takeout? Um... I like the Frisco burger that comes on sourdough bread, has bacon, tomato, and mayo on that. Um, I like our breakfasts, our Spangler, Spangler's breakfast piece is probably our best deal on that. That comes with a egg. That's something bacon. I can warm back up pretty easily. Yeah. Um, right, okay, so no. Um, <laughs> our mac and cheese, our spaghetti, fettuccine alfredo, they're probably gonna warm up better. They're probably gonna... Why don't you give me an order of mac and cheese? Mac and cheese? Yeah. Do you want a mac and cheese dinner or do you just want a side of mac and cheese? Just a side. Yeah. Side of that? Thank you. You're welcome. And then anything for you? No. Okay. No, no, thanks. I'm good. I'll take the bill though. The big bill? Okay. Lance, you don't have to do that. Alright. No, here. Give this to Mitch when it comes in. I will. Thank you. Yeah, so we're not going to sit here and defend our position. Just keeping it clear to you. Right, this is what we witnessed, and this is what we're witnessed. seeing. Uh, yeah, we're witnessing. Okay, so what'd you witness? For, we're witnessing you the support of banning of firearms at the state capitol is so a prime example. What do you example. know about that story? Well, you tell me. I said, I'm asking you, what do you know about the story? Well, I'm at telling you, why don't you tell me about it? You so you know nothing? You understand, tell me? Mike, I don't owe you anything. No, you don't. No. But when you're making accusations, you, you owe it to the person you're accusing to tell them what you know so that they know what the hell, whether you know you know anything or not. Sure. So, so you do, you, do you want to... Well, I think the first thing should be, like, did you support it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's all we need to know. <laughs> if the world was that simple to you, my friend, you are in a deep shit trouble. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. You know, the Attorney General made, the, made a ruling that said that the, the uh, Capital Commission which I happen to disagree with. The, the, I'm sorry. The Capitol Commission. Okay. Which is responsible for the historical uh, uh, preservation of the Capitol. Also has responsibility for the scheduling of it. Okay. When it's open and it's closed. Uh, 
where offices are placed and for all rules, regulations related to guns. Okay. Okay. Administrative. And, and they were this close to banning all guns, putting metal detectors in, you name it. Okay. Legal, isn't it? Huh? No, legal. it's not illegal. It's not illegal for the government to do Hello? that? Uh, there's like 12 states that have that place. Texas bans open not, carry. I'm not saying they're not wrong, or they're Just wrong or not wrong. wrong. I'm you. saying. Well, then they have. Then somebody has challenged it in about 16 other states. That's what I'm saying. So uh, now I did say, that, and I have said, and I continue to say, that the way some of those uh, folks were displaying and carrying their open carry in the galleries over above the Senate and, and the House was completely inappropriate. In fact, I call them jackasses. Mm -hmm. There's about four of them. Not all, but there's about four of them that were complete jackasses. Okay. And uh, so I did some heavy negotiating with the commission and said, listen, there's nuts. We're going to try to stop all carriers in the Capitol. So do the open carry, which means requires no changes physically to the building, but I have to put metal detectors in. And then people can conceal carry, no problem. And uh, I think that was a win, frankly. You might not think so. No, I don't think so at all. No, I mean, I, I'm, I don't like politics, Mike. I like principles over politics. And I know that's not good for long-term long -term positions. I know that. I'm aware of that. But, uh, Mike, we're 120, we're 100. But you clearly under, don't understand. You, you make a claim like that and make a statement based on an observation and don't even take the time or the respect to call and ask a question. No, I don't, what, what was behind this? I, I, don't, I, I don't need to call and respect if you're no. supporting firearms at the Capitol. You don't? I don't. I don't. I don't. There's no law requirement for sure. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it's apparent uh, that principle alone. That principle alone is not who I rep want, not representing me. Because when it comes right then now, yeah, you're, right. you're in good luck. Anyway. Okay. I mean, that's okay. I'm just saying, like, I like. Would you have rather had your representative stand down and allow them to close guns completely to the camera? Would you have rather had that happen? You're, you're picking you the lesser of two evils, no, is what you're I'm, suggesting. I'm you, sir, would you rather have that happen? You're suggesting the lesser of two evils. No, I'm asking you, what I, would you rather have? There's a third option. What's that? Could have not supported it and spoke up against it completely. I well, did. I did speak up against it. And when the AG issues an opinion that says the Capital Commission has this authority, then you can, you, can, you can pretend you can have it. You just told us that you supported it. Well, it's, and while it's not illegal, it is unconstitutional. Well, that is an argument. That's right. Maybe... Maybe to you. I mean, it's arguable if you, uh, yeah, that's not arguable to us. You know, like, there are certain things that, like. That's right. Certain reasonable people can disagree. Even unreasonable people can disagree. Well, it doesn't say right to bear, bear arms and unless you're a felon. It doesn't say right to bear arms unless you're at the Capitol. It doesn't say right to bear arms. Like, it doesn't say that, Mike. So, yeah, we can be attorneys and play Shades of Grey, but we, we both know, we both know. You would rather have it's it morally wrong. Down the guns it's we both know it's no, a morally wrong situation. Closed down at all. Show me the path for you to do that. Everybody's saying no. You and your colleagues. You don't have any rules, oh, uh, oversight. You don't understand. I'm, I'm, we have no say. I understand if all our legislative officials would say no, then that would matter. That would matter to who? Something. Matter to who? Your make it feel better? Your make it feel better? We, could, we could all stand up, say no, sign a sign a resolution saying no, yep. and then they'd close the guns completely at the gate. So, that, you know, and then that would we everybody we off, would put we and then hopefully more people would get thrown out next election. Yeah, no, the, no, the hopefully part of it is well, elected. As of right now, we just lost more rights. The hopefully part of it is elected. Elections have consequences. Elected yep. gen attorney general, then we have a we have a chance. Mm -hmm. We, but you could, we could do it stupid and stubborn and fold our arms and say we disagree and well we don't think stamp, we don't our feet and and slibble and lie and then is, close the capital down completely to guns. And I guess that's what you'd rather have. Our principles aren't weak or, yeah, or stupid yeah, or any of the any of the things you just, just described. I mean we we're 120 years deep going against principles. We got to kick it around sometime. 
Like, when are we going to kick this back around, Mike? It's not. Because like, we're always losing. We're never gaining. No, I disagree with that. Because you're what you just. You're, you're saying we're getting more just, freedoms as we get as it moves on. I didn't say we're getting more. Freedoms. That's what he's implying. He said he's always losing, never gaining. He's losing more exactly. more freedom. Never, I've never gained a freedom. I've always lost a freedom. You've been in office long enough. The, the socialism socialism's creeping along. Sure. Yeah, right? Is that, is that fair to say? It's very fair to say. Okay, so we're, and, and civil liberties are eroding. I remember you used to be the, driving the back of the truck, going down that road, seeing the stars at night. And I know you did too. What happened to that, Mike? It was so damn dangerous that you got that state has to take control of that? The state has way much too much control. No. And... I'd rather see a politician go up there and say no and lose than go up there and say, oh, I'll give a little bit and we'll, we'll make a, a, the best of the situation. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, and I'm only represent myself here. My and I only represent myself. And as a board, I'm representing a lot of precinct delegates now. I know. So, yeah, I know. You're dragging the whole damn county in a bad direction. You'll, you'll end up having no influence on anything. Potentially. It's potential. It's I'm not any in in that's potential, but I, I don't I disagree, and I think the county's going to be be this freedom beacon. Oh yeah, it'll be a loud voice and have no impact. Totally agree. It, it may totally may agree. not. We don't know. It's not. We got to try. We'll find out. You know, if we don't try, then what happens? We'll find out. You know, we've got to put that extra work in. I know it's hard to fight the system. I I know how hard it is. Um, People like myself, the poor, the poor folks, we're fighting the system and fighting the money. You know, like we're fighting the money. You know, we're trying to get our voice in there. It's hard. Um, but uh, but ultimately, I didn't write this. Someone did. I know, but I didn't write this. But I support Luton, it. Luton probably wrote it. Either way. I, 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 I it doesn't I matter either way. The fact that you're here, I understand you support it. I'm not. I'm not you're right, right. You have, by the way, I defend your right to support it. Okay. I just think for people who uh, ostensibly say they support the Constitution, yep. to aggressive reasons, I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting your believers. Okay. And if those two things are, st are statements are true, mm -hmm. then in both cases, yep. You don't make you don't make judgments and rulings without the accuser hearing the evidence and being able to defend themselves. And this is a this is a statement and a ruling and a public statement without ever even reaching out and talking about a single damn one of them. So frankly, as far as I'm concerned, that is about as anti-constitutional as I can imagine. Okay, and I respect your opinion. What I tell you is we didn't get a damn call on some of this stuff either. Hell, I mean, I haven't, we haven't got a call from you in a very long time. Well, right? I think, if I can interject, that's kind of the issue is, you know, we have our meetings every month, and, and this is before we've been on, but, you know, any legislation you vote one way or the other, any uh, statement you have, you can come here and speak to all, all of our party and say, hey, this is why I took it this, but when we don't, you know, when we're not even given the, uh, you know, we're your constituents and we're not even explained like, hey, this is why I voted this way. Um, you know, we feel like obviously our opinion isn't valued. So, and then uh, on the other... You should get a call for every vote? Maybe. For something... I don't if know. It's, if it's important. I don't know how can you vote. Then we just, why don't we yeah, just have right. everybody vote on everything? So uh, we didn't and get rid of the representative democracy. That'd be a better mm -hmm. idea, wouldn't it? No, that's not what we're saying. We're talking about on fundamental issues, civil liberties, things like that. Second Amendment, obviously, would be one of them. And so what we're saying is, you know, at the monthly meeting, just like um, for state rep, for county commissioner, those positions, they have the chance to come. I voted this way. This is why. So it's not like, oh, every single day, give us a call. Listen, and like, I just saw 2020, man. There ain't. This is wild. This is freaking wild. Oh, shit. You know, this is unbelievable, Mike. And, and and to sit here to go, well, maybe we can go along to get along, is absurd. It's absurd. But I think what with this ultimately, so there's two things. There's that, but then the second would be that talk is inherently cheap, and actions are really all that so matters. Is, to, so is sending out notices inherently cheap to, without talking to the. Party yeah, so, the so the point I'm trying to finish right here is that when someone votes a certain way, 
if it's such a fundamental issue, then there's really no explaining because well, get, the I actions get lots speak of louder than words. Call or email and say, "Hey, why'd you vote this way?" I'm not going to guess who needs to be referred to, who's going to, who needs to be permission to be asked, or who needs an explanation. And you look at my attendance record up until about a year ago. I was regularly at the building meeting, but then when, when it became a shit show, I just, you know, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, when did, when, when, why do you think it became a shit show? I don't know. I don't know. L like, I don't know, John. I, really don't. I you, don't know what the, I don't know what the. What happened? Is this the Washington designated uh, high pollutant? Lansing, Lansing. High pollutant politicians? This is the uh, safe zone for politics. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if you want to get in there, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd love to. <laughs> Are you going to have town hall meeting or anything any in the near future? Yeah. I've got some concerns I'd like to discuss with you. Cool. Um, I've talked to uh, Julia Alexander. Mm -hmm. um, you live in Jackson County? Yes. Okay. And uh, what are you doing in Hillsdale County, by the way? Talking to these guys. <laughs> he, re he represents Hillsdale. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah. Part of your Hillsdale area? Hillsdale and in uh, Branch County. Okay. I thought I recognized you when you came in. But anyway, uh, will you be planning it soon? Well, for you, it'll be in Jackson. It'll probably be in Hanover. Okay, that'd be good. Right. You're welcome to come to Hillsdale's Republican meeting tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Where is this going to be? Do you know where Checker Records is? I do not. Okay, um, it's uh, it's so Sozo Church. So it's a church, Sozo Church, it's South South Manny Street. And I'll is just that get on the same in. street that goes by uh, uh, Hillsdale College? No. Next one over. Here. If you shoot me an email, I'll give you the address or text or call. Okay. And that's going to be when? Tomorrow uh, yep. at, at 6 p.m. Right. Right. And even though I'm from Jackson County, I'm welcome. To yep. Yeah, yeah we, it was, right. we, we got taco. We got a taco bar and we got margarita night. Well, I'm not into alcohol. Okay. I haven't been for 33 years. Good for you. Get, that's good. good for you. Anyway, my smoking and drinking days were over when I turned 40. Yeah. And I'm you still have tacos, though. Yeah, there's plenty of tacos. Now, <laughs> and I'm now 73, so I survived. Well, you look great for 73. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember your name. Dennis Cunningham. Dennis. Yeah, the last time I saw you was at the uh, Spring Arbor Cafe. And uh, right, anyway, right. we had some con uh, concerns that I discussed at that time. There was not that many people there, so I was able to Good. get a lot of things off my chest. So anyway, well, I'm sorry you, to interrupt I, I, your... You didn't interrupt your time, but I think you'd probably be better off based on what you're saying is to... Because uh, you're not going to give much time tomorrow night. Yeah, right. Uh, give me a call. I need you to come back. Trump, Trump uh, posted my cell phone on Facebook, so I had to get a different cell Shut phone. Shut up. <laughs> he, doxed, he doxed you? Uh, I was wondering if your uh, attitude had changed since you had a meeting with Trump. No, oh, I, I was an enthusiastic supporter until he did that. Then I got a little pissed off. <laughs> Was it done on purpose? Oh yeah. You think just yeah. a year to year or what? Well, yeah, it was a call to action. He posted on Facebook, and then it was a call to action for everybody to call me to give me the uh, change the elector assignments in Michigan. None, none of us oh. saw that, did we? And, uh, I didn't see it. Was it? Did, did he take it down yeah. quick or something, or like what happened? It was up for three days. I got four thousand text messages. <laughs> wow, I didn't see it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Uh, none of us saw it. That's crazy. Well, you you live in Vandercook, is it? I, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the Cunninghams from Vanderbilt? No. Um, I'm actually five miles, I'm one mile east of Flasguy, the big burg of Flasguy. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Can't miss that. <laughs> no. But anyway, uh, I've got some things I'd like to talk over with you. Julie, I don't know. I didn't get very far with her, I don't think. Um, she's a nice girl. I knew her when you know, I was teaching at Hanover Schools. And so on, her husband Jeff is a, is a nice young man, and uh, whatever. But anyway, I thought since you are the head honcho in the Republican Party or whatever, is it the Senate or the House of Representatives? Senate. Senate. Okay, that perhaps you would have a little more to say to me than maybe somebody else. So, anyway, I, like I said, I'd like to just get my cell phone number now. I do. And uh, did you want me to forward that to Trump? <laughs> no, that's, that's funny. No, please, please, please. Okay, it's nice to talk yeah, with you. How about a Colonel Vivers handshake? You bet. You I'm, so, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, safe now. I'm harmless. Supposedly. Oh, you mean you've had yeah. it? Yeah. 
Have you really? Yeah. Yeah. Very badly? No. Just some like light symptoms? Like the flu. Yep. Really? Real similar. Well, it's an awful thing we've had to go through. And then the election sure didn't top it off where he wanted it to go either. Yeah. So, Thank nice you. talking with you. Yeah, you too. You think John James got his election stolen too? I don't, in Michigan? Yeah, oh, wait, because uh, you didn't, you weren't like big proponent of that. I mean, do you think there was election fraud? Well, there's definitely election fraud, but not enough change for election. No? Yeah. You think it was a small amount or something? Well, it's typical. Probably Just the 15, normal. Probably what do you think? Um, why do you think there's so much hype on it then? The reality is, John, that uh, we weren't ready for the onslaught of early and mail-in votes, and they were just big boluses of absentee ballots that, that uh, weren't pro couldn't be processed in time because I wouldn't allow them to process them early. Okay. And that ended up being all, all those big interjections on election night and into the next day. But the Trump lost Michigan in the Hamm County in Oakland. He didn't even lose it in Wayne County. He got actually more votes on a percentage basis in Wayne County than he got the 2016. Oh, thank you. I did see, Kent, when I drove through Kent County, it was, I mean, anti-Trump, big time. Do you want me on the side? Yes, please, thank you. Same way in Oakland County. Really? So there were 113,000 more votes for president in Wayne County in 20 than there was in 16. 113,000. Wow. Trump got 40,000 of them. You know, Thank you. He only got about average of 9% in the, in the standard population. He got 32% in the, in the older town. So Giuliani couldn't bring enough information to, like, the evidence or anything like that? Giuliani was so unorganized in his presentation. Really? How are you guys doing? What about like the poll watchers that were testifying and stuff like that? There was a 200 aff affidavits or whatever. That's quite a bit of affidavits, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a few, quite a few observations. That's what an affidavit is. Right. I looked into most of them. They were either misunderstandings of what they actually saw. Okay. So there were some of them that were inappropriate. The biggest problem was is that everybody that was working there was under trained. And they were all asking questions and doing things that just, and then it just escalated the emotion. Uh -huh. Trump very well could have gotten these elections going in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and maybe even Arizona, but not Virginia. Now, do you think, um, you think Dominion was in on this, or is that not, you don't think that was it? Dominion is, you know, they're, listen, the, uh, the, uh, the thing that everybody likes to talk about in Antrim County, with that big 6,000 vote change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? That exact same thing happened in Antrim County. But it was in heart machines, not wind machines. What did you hear about that? Well, actually, remember at the uh, uh, meeting when Marnie talked about those machines, too. Yeah. Um, she said that's why they didn't want to use the heart machines either, actually, because yeah, there was that same concern. Different with different kinds of machines. Yeah, with Dominion, and that's why Heart Dominion and ESNS are the three different primary manufacturers of the American so, so, in Marnie's professional opinion, she's been a clerk for a while. Yeah. She says there's election fraud in Michigan. I think I just said that too. Um, but she thinks that, that Trump, uh, that it that it was stolen. Like, obviously, you think there was fraud, but not enough to overturn. She thinks there was heavy fraud. It would have had to have been 80,000 votes for fraud. Okay, another, another piece of data. Uh -huh. uh, Kent County. Okay. okay. So... Trump lost by 54,000 votes in, in Kent County in every other race won by Republicans. That's just proof that people just split their vote because they just were, they were voting for Biden and they voted against Trump. Well, that's right. Good try to yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. So, similar thing happened in Oakland tonight, but it's dramatic. It's like we did lose a few uh, House seats. So why did the vote count stop and all that stuff? Like what, you know, like early morning? Like I just told you, we did for the deliveries of our county and the balance. Oh, really? Because I know, I, I remember that too, that everybody's going to bed. and Yeah. So in September, uh, I met with the bipartisan group of the big group, the 26 girls. And they were begging to have the law changed to allow them to pre, to pre count because they were expecting to be a load of absentee ballots and they were worried about being able to process them in time on a bunch of night. Uh, 
we did allow them to pre-stage, open up, open up their envelopes, unfold them, set them kind of machines in, in buckets. But I, I would not allow them to pre-count because they couldn't prove to me that they could prevent early reporting. Yeah. So now we'll have time. I regret that because uh, that created a lot of confusion, particularly the TCA. Now, why did they put the cardboard up on the windows? Oh, okay. it was just something they they, they screwed stupid, up on. Mm. I mean, they just it was all the emotion in that set TCF center was so high, and it was caused by both sides. It wasn't just Democrats. Okay. It's mostly related to training, like in my opinion. Related to I'm sorry, related to who? Training. Training. Lack of training. Yeah, I can see that. I think people were going there looking for a fight. So. What about the DC thing? I was there. <laughs> so, um, that's why? Not at all. That's, that's been a hoax from day, from day one. That was all Peter Rand. Lance was on the front line too. Do you know if they went in the front before they went in the back? They did. They did go in the front before the back? They did. I already know that for a fact. They went in, in separate buses. I mean, that was all. You know, arranged by somebody that was funding it. Well, that was right up on the gate in the front. No, you, oh, I, you know, we're in the back. So we're in the back. In the back. Um, I wasn't why was they tear gas in their own guards? Why wasn't there more security? Yeah, there was like there was 30 know, guards out back there. It was, it, was, it was ridiculous. It was all staged. You think it was DC, uh, the mayor influenced? Just a yeah. I think it was kind of high. How does hell, that? Hell, uh, Mitch McConnell was part of it. I was going to say. The one that, he was the one that was part of the uh, decision making how much, how much security they have on stand. I think they wanted to have a mess. I know they wanted to. There's no other explanation. The moment, like. But, I, but they, they wouldn't have had a mess with you guys. They had to have also recruited this other group of people. Well, and, then, and then I do believe, I do believe, because I don't know if you guys have been caught up in her. Uh, when you're in mobs. You can get caught up in the motion. Oh, yeah, I was ready to go. You can get caught up in the motion. Especially so, when you're getting tear gas and so some of those, Some of those Trump folks probably just got caught up in the, in the motion. Well, they had a guy with a loudspeaker up on that uh, tower. There was a tower and there was everything in the back. And there was a dude on a loudspeaker hanging everybody on, telling everybody what to do. Like, reinforce this side, reinforce that side. Like, they're going through over here. Uh, like, Definitely something to behold. Uh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was fantastic to watch. Not a good fantastic. Yeah. Like was unbelievable. Really interesting. Yeah. It was. Um, I'm glad I was there. It was a surreal moment. Yeah. Yeah. So. I said on my couch, tears came down my eyes. I couldn't believe what I saw. Um, because I didn't see someone get arrested. I didn't see anybody punch a cop. I didn't see anybody a cop a punch a person. I want to. Exactly. I want I want an answer. What did she do to get to do to get shot? She was breaking through a window, but I'm but, but, but in every other that barrier that in every other barrier when people started to break through the barrier they just got out of the way and let them go. Yep. Why in that one case with that one person who they never showed his face or they never showed it on camera? Also, there was a lot of people behind her. How reckless is it is to shoot? Yeah, and I would hope it was a she was she was hot. She was in a window of a door. She was hot. She was uh, climbing on top of somebody, I think. I mean, I couldn't tell you. Know, but, so, but I, it, to me, it it's an unarmed female coming it's through a door, and you got a bunch of guards. Well, they, yeah, and you expect the guards to be trained enough. Then how was there so many cameras there to record it? Right. How was there a camera to record the fact that that guy's gun come out from the end of the corner, you know, and yeah. then followed it? I mean, it was like they said. They stayed. How does this happen in government, Mike? You're high up there. How does this? How does shit like this happen? You're high in government. I don't think this. I think it's a bump. Yeah. What do, What do you mean? Like what? I think there's people above elected officials. You think it's the same thing that's going on on Wall Street right now? Like a George Soros, you mean? I don't know, but I think people like it. Like uh. There's, there are puppeteers that. The, the, the most recent thing is uh, the GameStop. Mm -hmm. What about it? I was all in. Yeah? I did 
that was engineered by people. It, it's uh, the after effects that we're in on your well, what do you, that you're talking about, I think. Are you allowed to talk about that stuff? Am I allowed to talk about it? I don't know much about it, so I can, I, I can have opinion just like you can have opinion. Um, being an insider, I just didn't know if you have capability, like if you knew something, you, you know, if you're supposed to be talking about it. Yeah. You know, it's classic. A bunch of guys, about five million of them, on a common uh, platform. Said somebody's, you know, they're all half pissed off anyway. And they said, let's do this, let's buy that stock and run it up. But they didn't know, out of ignorance, out of ignorance, not because of the ignorance, is that there was a whole bunch of hedge funds that were shorting. And as soon as they started running up that price, those hedge funds were about ready to get their ass handed. See, from what I understand is they knew that, that was, that's what was going to happen. They knew that they were going to short those hedge funds, or screw the hedge funds to begin with. That's why they did it. I don't think they knew to the to the to the, to the point, That's what I'm saying. So I understand that point. Yeah, gotcha. And I didn't think they knew what the, what the reaction was going to be. Right. Exactly. Now people want to, re want to uh, regulate out of that. Right. So this is that's a dangerous road to go down. Exactly. Like the, yeah, you're going to put chains on Wall Street against the little guy. Well, in this case, I'm going to change the little guy. I'd kind of chuckle if you're going to stop shorting, I guess, maybe. Or dumping millions of, millions of dollars at a time. The action that was troublesome to me is that somebody decided to stop trading. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Stop trading. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm kind of getting at. Like. They, just, they just said, we're not going to trade. We're not, basically saying, we're going to close the door. Like, you exactly. So then I'm that is go the down. action. Right, that's why I wanted the same people that he was talking about on both sides. It's just funny because if the shoe was on the other foot, they'd never turn off Robin Hood exactly. or any of those apps. Exactly. That, that, you know, if it was regular that's people, right. that's screwed. That's right. All right, so you got the, you know, yeah. we can agree to disagree on the gun thing. You know, I think I protected everybody's ass on that one. And you can do this again, so that's the next one. Uh, to support a termination of electoral college vote, our electoral college, one of the most important checks and balances that protect our republic from democratic from opera. So why was electoral college set up? I mean... Do you know? Do you know why the electoral college was set up? Yeah, uh, to set up a federal system that, so we'd have a representative government to protect mob rule against mob rule. So that the large urban areas wouldn't, wouldn't uh, determine every vote. Four states, yeah. Want, you know, two or three states, or New York and Los Angeles, or something. So the federalist, a, a federalism application to vote, right? Okay. What's happening in Michigan? Bigger city. Our votes, where we live, if we don't make a change, and I don't mean to, to uh, get rid of uh, but if we don't make a change, our votes will not count in 15 years. They don't count right now. Well, they counted in 2016. Barely. Well, but you can't say they don't count. But I'm telling you, if we don't make a change, and so the change that I'm proposing is we move from a winner take all. Thank you very much. All right, Thank you. Cheeseburgers on top, mac and cheese on the up and Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, the change to uh, our, we are electoral college is distributed to mimic Nebraska Maine, where winner of the, the uh, majority winner in each congressional district gets that electoral college. So like a smaller electoral college within the state. Right. It's feder applying federalism now not just nationally but state. Right. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. See that would have been fun to have a conversation about that before that went on that. Let's go on. The problem is that we never get the next part. Because nobody has. You just assume. Yeah, but doesn't the National Popular Vote Initiative give the elect give all the electors to whoever wins the general election? Yeah, I would I never voted for the National Popular Vote. The NPIB, not that one. Nope. 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 Go ahead and check my record. The support of expansion of Medicaid and the ushering of Obamacare into the state of Michigan. Good talking points. Good talking points. So back in that time, that was uh, 2014. Uh, that was when Obamacare was in office. Uh, Michigan was enduring about about five billion dollars of new Obama taxes. 
people in Michigan were just sending the Washington DC Just sending the Washington DC We were at the, also at the same time paying all of us through our insurances for about two million dollars worth of uncompensated care for all the health systems. So there was a part, there was a language in the Affordable Care Act that allowed states, should they choose to, to move the qualification for Medicaid up to 100, I think it was 110 percent of poverty level, federal poverty level, and allow those people to qualify for uh, Medicaid, which would, which not would, did basically bring in, I don't, I don't know, 120 percent brought back of that tax money that we were sending out and never going to get back. About $2.6 billion. Mm -hmm. And that, that covers our uncompensated care and some other things for that for that population. Now, you can paint that all day long if you want to. About well, the support of the but I frankly, I, I consider it a support of the support um, wh why, why is government involved in health care in, in general? Well, that's a different question. I'm just, I'm at, that's what I'm asking, you know? Government basically created the reason for health care. Or like, uh, why is government involved in insurance? You know, that type of shit. You know, I think, I think it's a problem, in my opinion. Why aren't we getting out of it? We just keep going down the road again. No. Uh, complete and utter. Do you understand my explanation? Yeah, I'm not asking you to agree with it. I make sure you understand it. I understand it. Um. Uh, the complete and utter surrender to Governor Whitmer in regards to her uh, unconstitutional shutdown in small businesses. Utter surrender. So I, I did contemplate once or twice. I did contemplate inviting her to a fist fight on the Capitol lawn, but I thought that probably would be good. She might whoop your ass. Duel would be better. Duel would be better. It's duel. The joust. We've seen her five yep. times, one four, one four of those five suits. We spanked her hard on budget, we spanked her hard on appointments, we did everything we could constitutionally do. But there's a, this little quirk this little that, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but to, to change a law, you need 20, 56, and one. And, uh, well, what's going on with the Republican Party, man? What, what are they doing? Elections have consequences. Mm -hmm. You elect a governor like this, you're getting exactly what we deserve. Yeah. So what's what what's going on with Republicans in general? Like I mean, colleagues. I mean, it's, every, it's not like everybody's pissed off from the from the Republican side. How do you know that? Well, I I don't know. I put out more content than anybody else in this community. Yeah. Well, I I, I don't do PR you know, just for the sake of yelling. You know, it doesn't do any good. Makes somebody feel good. I don't know. I grew a precinct delegate from 20 to 70. I think it did, done, does great. Maybe it works for me and not for you. I don't know. I'm just saying, like. I'm just asking, asking you, what would you have liked to have seen done that we didn't do? What I would like to see what? What's that? I said, what would you like to see done that we didn't do? Other than snip a line and stand up with skeptical steps and snap our feet and throw us Yeah, it would have felt like you're human. So yeah, it would have felt like you're human. Some press releases given your opposition because if I would have known your position on the electoral college, I'd been able to back you. And if I would have known your position on the Obamacare stuff, while I don't agree with you, that, wouldn't you wouldn't support it. No, I, that's what I mean. I, but while I would have understood it, I still don't support it because I don't support any of that crap. I still don't understand on the national popular vote. I thought you sponsored that bill in 2018 to join the compact. Look it up. Look it up. Can you look that up now? Yeah, I'll look it Why would I think that? Is that just... The only thing I did that was on the committee, mm -hmm. I, I moved to vote it out of committee because I had this, the amendment sub mm -hmm. ready to go on the floor sure. to put my plan in, mm -hmm. but I never got out of committee. Okay. Never got out of committee. But it's people like you guys who just see snippets of actions and then make a, put a fabricated story to it. It's, it's, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm well, used to it. there's the little things that nobody says anything about, and there's things like the guns, and we're going to get to some more, I think. Oh, well, I mean, uh, abusing of taxpayer dollars to manipulate elections by creating paid 
political positions to help proteges in here here garner electoral advantages. Actually, that one. I want to. My question is WTF. I don't even understand what that. Is. Okay. What is it? I'm assuming it's the hiring of people like Andrew Fink. I'm assuming. I don't know. I didn't write this. <laughs> well, you're strongly I, supporting it, so you ought to you ought to know what you're supporting, Mr. President. Well. Any of these two issues is enough for me to support it. We're already there. Sorry, bro. You know, I don't know what else to say, you know? I'm here to change your mind. I'm just here to show you how, that's right. how, how, how simple-minded it is. Okay, and that's fair to say. And I, I don't disagree. Um, and if somebody thinks that hiring a constituent to work in a district for a few months or a year is somehow... Listen, man, I mean, this isn't rocket science, man. The cronyism's got to go. It's got to go, Mike. So give me an example of cronyism. Ah, mi Obamacare. What about it? Anything to do with Obamacare. Oh, the insurance. It's used to move all the other stuff, just like you said. All of it, there Mike. Obamacare, that when are we going to take, when are we going to take like 10% and go, you know what, we're going to do something different here. Like, I, let me give you an example. <clears throat> state statutes, state mandates. We already know the state has too much power. You know what? What? Why aren't we working to try to yeah, yeah. dismantle that power? Yeah, why, why, like, what, what happens when a state mandate comes down for vaccinations, Mike? What am I supposed to do, just wait until, until Mike's, until, until I see a press release from Mike? People used to say that the government would never be able to shut down your business. My, Mike, I've seen 2020. I don't give a... I, there, Listen, even the Supreme Court in our favor of the Chief And then she went and did it again. Through the public health care. So we have, to, we have to change that. And we've got to use constitutional ways to do it. And all we're saying is that... Heavy's the one that wears the crown? There's ways that she can mandate a vaccine. I'm sure there's something somewhere that she can do. And we have allowed it's attorneys... Take you guys six months to fight it. And well, in the meantime, everybody's going to be shooting each other. Because that's where my line is. Mike, this is this you should run for office and you can fix all this stuff. I've been. Get yourself up there and fix all this stuff. Maybe, maybe I'm just not very smart. That's good too. I don't know. Just have different opinions. Different no, no, we don't have different opinions. I just have a different stance. No. I have a different perspective on reality and how to make the changes because you just can't you just can't walk in with a gun and say change it. Correct. I don't you also can't just give a little bit, give a little bit to get along. Because sooner or later, that little bit, little bit, you nothing and I are never going to agree on the fact that if you, you, you would have preferred, you would have preferred to have guns completely banned at the Capitol. I can't help you there because I don't think that's the right solution. I would prefer them to try to do it. And if they did it, people were either going to get along or they're going to... So carry your, white, carry your long guns in Maryland. He I does. I do. No, no, no. I had my gun to D.C. I'm saying, carry your long guns in Maryland. Test it. So well, why don't... Yeah, you right. know what would make it more of a, a stance is if you did it. Exactly. Because I don't think... There's 12 other states, including Texas, Oklahoma, and Alabama, they don't allow long guns in their capital. What's that have to do with them? What's that have to do so, with anything? It has everything to do with it. Those states have nothing to do with Michigan. Nothing. In Michigan, I can open carry damn near everywhere I want. Yep. He, sh he challenges that at the local courthouse. Yep. I'm fighting the courthouse right now. Good. You, it's your right to do so. Yeah. It's his duty to do so. It's not your right. It's your duty. It's your duty, too. Mine. The Darren's. Mike, we... We, we're not going to do it no more. We're not going to go along to get along. Darren's going to go to work there. He can bring his long gun in. Might as well do that. Go ahead and try it. Here's, Are you going to this is what I've got. Right. So that didn't happen? Is that... No. Sam, Sam Prime messed that up? Wow. Saying that you supporting the... Yeah, go ahead. Did you already pay? No, I'll get it. I am 95% certain I didn't co-sponsor, but I did make that motion to the committee to uh, get out of committee. I remember just because I remember the conversation with you and Rutan at a at a meeting at Olivia's. It was be before me, for that I'm aware of. A little while ago. Yeah, Mike, I mean, Mike, it's not just you, Mike. 
We're gonna push out anybody that goes along to get along anymore. Me. We're trying. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna do everything we can. Do what you want. You know. But all I say is practice what you preach. If you're gonna make accusations of charging somebody, the very least you should do is present them with your evidence and let them have a chance to have a day in court. Unless you don't. Unless well, you don't believe in the Constitution. Oh, we did, though, isn't it? No, you didn't. We didn't send that to you? No, I had to get it from somebody else. We sent there an email, Mike. I, I guarantee you I didn't get that from the Republican Party. State of Michigan rule. Mike, it's the only way you did get it. No, I got it from somebody else. Well, if Ben Kaufman is your dude, that's your assistant. I got it from somebody else well before you sent it to, to our office. No. no. Not from me, then. I, or... I got it from you. You only sent it out once? What's that? You only sent it out once? Yeah. That's it. I didn't. I don't. So there's no other way. So Ben got it. That's who I was dealing with is our our person, right? Is that not appropriate? Well, you're making my point. What's that? Who did you send it to? Ben Kaufman. Who else? I sent it to our members. Who else? Once it goes to our members. That's, that's it. Nobody else? No, not that I'm aware of. I mean, unless it's a, unless our Google suite is unchecked, where there's like the wrong person in the list or something, and that could be clear, clear. Well, I don't think so. Once though. it goes to our members, how many members are we sending that to? No, no, it, it went out to precinct delegates. Right, right. How many? So, so we sent it to all our precinct delegates. Listen, this isn't me. This is our precinct delegates, Mike. But it wouldn't have happened without you, brother. What's that? It wouldn't have happened without you. Well, it wouldn't have happened without all of us. No, no, I, I'm telling you, Mike, it's a tight... I, it's don't, a, I, I don't care. I'm okay. just telling you that the, the process in which that happened is contrary to what you think and you say and you ostensibly support. Well, I think you're, you, might be a little, you might be a little mis confused. I think it's called... This came together. ...until proven guilty, as I think the right. motion is called. Right, but and you're just you're just upset that you got it from the other source, right? No, I'm upset that you sent it out at all without having a well, we, strong conversation. We, so so it's our, our, our precinct There's delegates. There's no rules against doing that. We all put it together. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 You're not going to bullshit me on that either. I know who put it together. I understand I don't think you do. Um, that's I and it's I comical. Think you have a, yeah. Do we work? Mm-hmm. But that's not how it works. I won't put up with it personally. Um, yeah. Uh, I still don't get why this this other one says you co-sponsored it. So you didn't co-sponsor it. They're lying. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pull up the records and find out. Okay. Because I mean, you said in this quote you co-sponsored it. So you're sitting here telling me that you didn't do it, and then I pull up something where you admit to do it. Now you're saying, oh, maybe I did. I'm not sure. So you're already backtracking. This is why we're here, because you're a liar. This is what we're mad about. This whole thing, I've been polite. We've been kind of beating around the bush and like, can you prove this? Can you prove that? The truth is, you're just another politician who will say one thing to get us get to get off your back. Them, get your ass them, Well, maybe I can't. Maybe because I actually have this thing you don't have, which is called integrity. Is that right? That's right. We don't. We don't have consumers back in us. You try it sometime. Consumers. Consumers yeah. is my number one enemy. We don't have any. A whoa, whoa, whoa. big money whoa, coming out. I didn't. I didn't say that you got consumers' money. You, well, what's the implication? That consumers does back politicians. No, the implication was to me. And see, there's another fact. You, uh, you just assume something. No, I'm. Well, I didn't. No, say I didn't say. I didn't say consumers backed you. Well, you've lied in this ten minutes or whatever. That's what I'm saying. We don't have big corporations supporting us, and we. we well, and, be, that? be honest with you, we don't want it, Mike. And we're not going to go along to get along. We're done with it, Mike. Neither am I. You know, we're done with that. Neither am I. We, you want a bully? Go ahead and bully. If that's a bully, then that's a bully. Just go ahead and bully. You know, call me a bully, Mike. I call you a pussy if you call me a bully then. I call you a pussy if you want No, and I didn't say that you took consumers' money either. You sure inferred it. Yeah, well, you deferred that I'm a bully. Mike. This this is gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, he knows. He knows. I don't give a shit. Okay. Well, you should care. I don't you, care. You got forty six thousand people in this county that care. I care the about them. I care about them. You should care about the Republican Party in Hillsdale. You should care, Mike. You should listen to us once in a while. 
We don't like the. You're not a victim. Every time I talk to you, it's like you're a victim. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. No, that's that's. that's it's a personality shit. thing. When's the last time you talked to me? And you've never talked. I don't know, Mike. When's the last time you came around? I've heard everything I need to know right here about your honesty. I mean, no, you're keeping it real. Every time I've talked to you, you have this victim. You grab me by the shoulder. You got this victim. You, you walk away pissy. You got this attitude as if I owe you. I don't. Nothing. You're in position for us. Yeah, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, that, and that's fair to say, Mike. You're doing the best you can do. Yeah, I'm not going to call and take a, take a the temperature of 270,000 people every time I have to make a decision. Uh, okay, that's so be it. Well, I mean, we're doing that within our own party structure, trying to figure that out ourselves. Right. We get How it. How many districts yeah. do you represent? Three? Three Community counties. counties. Three counties, yeah. districts, counties. Three counties. I mean, really, all you got to do is call these counties Republican Party. Isn't that how it's set up? Yeah, it is, Lance. Like, you, you just said you got to call 270, whatever. Well, like, you, why not just call the you know, Republican Party, the people that... Then why don't we just call everybody? We've got technology to do that. No, it's Mike, because you, you, you take an R behind your name. You didn't take a D behind your name. Go to the Republican Party. You, know? you took an R behind your name. That's a corporate name. It's not like Christianity in a church, Mike. What's your point? The point is... No, I don't represent just our Republican Party. No, but you take the R under your name. You do, right? Okay. Well, it's not exclusive to Hillsdale. The other communities are upset, Mike. The other Republican parties are upset. It's not just us. It's not just 20 people in Hillsdale. I just went to Macomb County. They're really upset. About 2020, Mike. They're upset. So, I mean, you're not a victim. Heavy's the one that wears the crown. You're going to, you know. Do I act like a victim? Yes. Well, then. You're not right now. You're not. Usually you do. Yes. And if I'm, I'm, I know it's offensive. I know it's hard to deal. You know. It ain't hard to deal. It's, it's not. Just, a, it's just inconsistent. I believe it's uh, uh, exactly opposite of what you, what you represent. It's okay to, to, to disagree. Yes, it is. I, I, I understand. Um, I'm confused on how you think it's the opposite of what we represent. Like I said, innocent until proven guilty. So make the accusation, just have a conversation. Well, I did make the accusation and you lied about it. So, <laughs> so Darren, someday, you know, maybe you'll have a, when you get as old as I am, maybe you'll say, hmm, yeah, I could have done that. We already went down a couple of things and we already, like the guns is a prime example. So someday I'll be as perfect as you. Let's put it that way. Okay. Jesus, that's, that's tough to do, Mike. Yeah. You're going to uh, have a lot of atrocities to get off your hands first. Mike. Obviously, we, we didn't we don't know the insides of the Trump election. We don't. We know some something's not right. We know it. We feel it, Mike. From a spiritual standpoint. You feeling something and knowing something two different things. Yeah. Two different things. Sure. Could be both. You could be both. Yeah. But feeling doesn't prove the line. That's my point. I said it can be both. Yeah. The feeling doesn't prove that the second was all it No, but it helps with the second. And why was that the second? It should be the first, and then you feel that you're correct. <laughs> so if you have your knowledge and your evidence and your proof, why can't you feel that that is correct? Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know, when I went to D.C., you didn't need to try. You put... Uh, Giuliani on a conference call, a conference call right on his desk. Okay. I was sitting this close to Trump. Um, and, uh, you know, Giuliani basically went into the same explanation that he did when he came to the committee in Michigan. And I had to interrupt him three times. And then every time I did, I screwed him. Because he would keep talking. Yeah. And finally, he stopped me. When are you going to file a suit in Michigan? He never answered the question three times. He never did. So, you know, I question the veracity. I mean, there's all kinds of claims and all kinds of circumstances and all kinds of things that look really strange. But I question the veracity of their data and their evidence. Just like the Dominion. We've had, with the Dominion machines, I think we've had four recounts in Michigan. 
and they redid the entire state of uh, Georgia. And if the counts from the machines match the counts of the people, it's kind of hard to imagine how they're, that how that can therefore be wrong. And they've not had the recount yet. It was more than 0 .001. You do the recount. The Georgia votes. In the county votes were cast. I don't know. I don't know where the count, where the recount. Is. Well, like in Antrim, there's a recount. That was done in Antrim. Yeah. 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 Um, as far as tomorrow goes, you're going to be able to speak in front of the executive committee, and and it's like I said. I mean. You know, if you, you know, if you want to try to, I was gonna say, if you want, if you want to try to, you know, give them what what you got, you know, I, I commend you. I mean, I, I can only say that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, you know, I, it's, it's not convincing me. It's convincing the precinct delegates here. You know, it's not about just me. It's these precinct delegates. Well, but you're a leader. I am. You're a leader. Yeah, we got, we all got influence here. Trying to be leaders. You know, trying. Yeah. Just like you, doing the best we could do, you know, and that's what we're doing. Um, but we, you know, the difference between a rhino and a neocon, right? And a, and a constitutionalist. We're looking for some more constitutionalists on the boards. What's so bad about that? What's what's so, what, what's so? Uh, why, why is there so much fight against it? No, no, that's, I didn't say that. What is wrong with supporting more constitutional-based ideology as far as getting more constitutionalists in place? What is wrong with that? I think we should have an entire chamber, both chambers. Justin Mash. You know, I looked at his voting record. They would be, they, they would be a perfect voting record. Well, I, I told you I looked at his voting record, and I, I looked at yours too, and I think your voting record is is pretty damn good. Um, and uh, but Justin Mash was actually I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, this guy's I just tell Lance. I was like surprised that he was it was really good. Perfect. You know, like I couldn't believe. You can always be good if you vote no. Every time. Well, that's that's it. Sometimes you got to vote no. You can vote no every time. I mean. Yeah, exactly, I think our government's big enough. So yeah. Exactly. No, nothing done. Exactly well, what are you, you supposed to, Mike? What? What do you, you mean? Don't get need things done. We need things repealed. That's what that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this, so this is where we're where, where, where the real rub is. Where we don't go along to get along anymore. We're like fed up with that. We're gone a lot of years this way. A lot of years, 120 years now, or 115 years, or whatever it is now. Mike, what do you think allows you to continue to do what you're doing? I think it's awesome. You know, so I don't know. We don't know if we don't try, Mike. Could it be any worse? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Well, it, it can't be worse, obviously. If, if we don't succeed in what we're doing, it's just going to go back to the way it was. The way it was is, it doesn't matter. So either what we're doing doesn't matter, like then. Or we're either going to change something, which that'd be cool, or we're not going to change anything, which it's the same as now. All we're out is the time we put in. Yeah. So that's how we look at it. So please come talk to the precinct delegates. They, they, they would. I'm sure they'll like to hear from you. We're going to have tacos and margaritas. They would love to. They're going to. Have, we're going to have tacos and margaritas, and um, we're we're going to. We're, is that just a social hour at six or? Yeah, so then. No, no, business is starting at six. Oh, yeah. oh, we're doing business first then. So yeah, I, I couldn't, on the end, it wasn't clear to me what was what. Was, what gotcha. I didn't even have a location on it, the one I got. I, I assume it was the Well, I don't know which one you got. In the email, it's down there. The taco bar. Yeah, it's on there. It's in there. So, um, you mean in the margarita time flyer? Yeah, it's in there. Um, yeah, it's six o'clock, and uh, I don't know. That's it. Six o'clock. That's what time it starts. And then uh, we got two guest speakers. We got Curtis Condone. Condon. Condon. And then uh, we got Brandon Hall. So.
Yeah, it's got speakers. So, because of it, probably going to be a shit show, I'd recommend you let them go first. It, it, do, do, there for the social hour. I'm sorry, do what? I said because it'll probably end up being a shit show, out of respect for those two, you should let them go first. Let them go first? Oh, check it out. So, we're going to have our business meeting. You're part of that business meeting. And then we're going to have party night. So, it's... Oh, so, yeah, so it's just the opposite of what you proposed. Yeah. 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 It's the same concept. That's why I was yeah. confused. I knew that, but I was confused like you when I first saw it. What, um, I guess you guys lost yeah, me. Yeah, yeah I, I'm on fine. the same page as him, but yeah. I understand. Yeah, so we're having a business meeting at 6. I'm not anticipating taking long. And then we're having a party. Because you just do it the opposite of the way they used to do it. Oh. That's what. When are those two guys Six thirty, six forty-five, whatever, yeah, whatever it takes. So the party is after the business instead of the party before the business. Right. Yeah. So then, if anybody wants to just come for the business, they can leave. Uh, you know, it's be that but I'm still saying that if, you, if, if I go before them, it's going to be a shit show, and I'm, I'm just being trying to be respectful of that. Yeah, yeah I understand. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be a shit show. We're, we're not gonna. We're, he don't. We don't run the meetings like that. Yeah, we're, not, we're not doing it like that anymore. Dude, you're, you're missing out. So the, yeah, the whole idea has been to restore order. So if you do want to come speak, then people aren't interrupting you, being rude, that kind of thing. Because when I was just there to watch, you know, for uh, like uh, Representative Whitehouser, for instance, you know, they interrupt him stuff. I I don't stand for that stuff. You know, like I stand that's on principle. I stopped, on that's it. When I going. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is if you're just speaking, stop, just stop going. yeah, or a county commissioner, whoever, it's like they have the floor. If you have a question, of course, you have the right to ask it, but. It's not going to be people just interjecting all throughout the crowd. You know, I don't like that. Oh no! In fact, you're not going to. There's not going to be re I mean, rebuttals and talking back and forth. You're, yeah. It's you know, it's your opportunity to come speak and and you got this. Yeah. In fact, this is actually more like got the errors out and shit. Um, but you got you you got it. I wasn't going to point out. <laughs> well, when you when you copy and paste from different types of things, it uh, it moves things around and whatnot. But regardless, um. You're going to have opportunity to speak, and it, it, that's essentially what you're calling uh, your trial, if you will, that you're calling it, you know, and um, that's it, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Okay. You know, you got a lot of, there's going to be a lot of precinct delegates there that don't want to hear from you, you know, and I think uh, I think that's your opportunity, and I think, to be honest with you, I think it's going to be something new for everybody, all of us. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be something we have ever experienced. You know, when hopefully uh, cooler heads will prevail. You know, um, we got some good people there, really do. It's not 20 militia people or 20 rutans there, and I know that's how it gets labeled, because it's not labeled just by you. It's labeled by like Wahlberg or whoever, Lighthouse or whatever. Well, I just label call it like a season, and that's what I saw. So but, but if it's changed, that's what it was. Great. That's what it was. Change is great. I mean, we're gonna have a, a hundred people there. I, I think. I mean, we had 100 people at our last meeting. When does the, uh, when does the uh, tequila serve? <laughs> as soon as the business meeting is over. Oh, right after it's over. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need drink after. Damn. So, um, but it is, it is. Like I said, I'm not here to defend this. I'm here to, because you asked me to be here. So I'm here. Well, I, I thought I'd get that respect of having a kind of conversation. But, so I called it, and nice for you to show up. Yeah. Nice for you, Thanks. So, you ready, guys? You guys ready to row? Sure you got it, Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I appreciate it, Lance. Thanks, Lance. Yep, no problem. Okay, we have I've got it. Yeah, I'm going to need you to give me a ride, buddy. No, give me to the hunt store. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to you no, give me a run? Oh. Oh. What's up, Bob? Morning. Oh, did you hear about Bob's story? Hey, Bob. So, a week and a half, well, about two weeks ago, Bob goes up to the county building, and um, they got security up there for the cameras. And Bob goes to walk in, like, go to the meeting, and this camera tried to stop Bob, and did, like, one of these, and Bob touched Bob, and Bob's like, don't touch me, he's got it on his phone. So he calls the police just to get it on report. Cop, there's nothing there. It's all whatever. Yesterday, the cop that took the report calls him and says, "You got a warrant." 
So Neil Brady put a warrant out for an assault on Bob. On Bob. On Bob. What's that for them touching him? So, so, so. No scan. Oh, when I say scan, I meant a person. No, he's gonna give me a ride. Are you giving me a ride? I'm gonna stop this. I'll take Darren's ride. Okay. Let's get out of here.